Well, hello YouTube, it's me, Tri-State EDC, with a little nondescript white sack, which happens a lot on this channel. From U+, plus, U+, plus, Albany, New York, pretty sure it's a Vosteed. I'm pretty sure it's a new Vosteed, and I'm pretty sure I have a reason to be excited. And so do you. So let's bust her open, together. <laughs> That's right, Vosteed. I think. I think. Don't quote me. But we're gonna, we're still going to use the uh, the Vosteed RS Chaos. I just love this. Still my favorite Vosteed to date. Yoink. Open her up. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Yep, yep, yep. Now, this isn't out yet. I don't think. Nothing left in the sack. See you later, Chief. I don't think it's out yet. I played with this at Blade Show, Texas. The box just says P1906 on her. No other uh, markings on here, so, you know, kind of still a mystery. Boop. Break the seal, as we do. Um. Uh. Um. Please. <sighs> Come on, let me in there. Let me get! There we go. Jesus Christ. Kind of the old school packaging with the uh, cardboard box and then the metal tin. Which I enjoy. Vosti, a little glossy on there. Glossy, glossy. Pop that open. And we have a little zipper pouch. It's like a, one of those Russian nesting dolls. Vosti packaging. You know what I mean? They just, it's just layer after layer after layer. And I approve. Uh, some paperwork in there. Nothing else crazy. Uh, got, it comes with a nice patch too. Velcro patch. Open her up. Yep. Yeah. It's the Ankylo? Ankylo. Future me? Ooh. Ankylo. A-N-K-Y-L-O. Ankylo. I played with this in Blade Show, Texas, and I'm pumped about it. Uh, we've seen a lot of, uh, a lot of, I don't know, evolution happening in the world of the button lock, and this is one of those evolutions. Um, this is the Ankylo by Vosteed. These are aluminum scales, which I didn't know. The one I played with was G10 scales. Nice stamp D carry clip. Got some funkiness going on here in the pivot region that you'll find out in a little bit. Some T8 hardware going around. Big old flick and all. Front flipper, back flipper. It does say prototype on the blade, so we're not going to judge it too hard. But if it's half as good as the one I played with in Blade Show, Texas, it'll be pretty damn good. Got some weight to it, and it's bigger than I remember. You know, another common theme here. Spider Go Pair, a three closed size comparison. Um, Tecton Echo Rock Wall, Golf Wall. So yeah, bigger, a little bit, just a hair bigger than the pair of three, uh, and obviously bigger than the rock wall, but still medium average size pocket knife. Really thick though, pretty damn thick, I do gotta say. Uh, got some girth to it for sure. Let's pop her open. Oh yeah, look at that. Real nice, tall flat grind on that sheep's foot, kind of reverse Tonto sheep's foot style blade going on. I dig it. Um, very nice, we kind of have that, we have a nice stone wash finish on that blade. Finger choil, love to see it. Uh, real nice jimping here on the blade spine. Good stuff. Uh, we do have a lanyard hole, just in case. Standoffs. Uh, internal skeletonized stainless steel liners. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Spider Pair 3 opened up. Tacton Co. Rock Wall opened up. Yeah, bigger than both. But, again, other than girth, there's really not a big size difference. Size difference? I don't know. D shut up. Words are hard. Um, not a huge size difference. It's just thick. It's thick, but it's thick for a reason, because the pivot is the button lock. We were seeing a lot of this. Uh, Rayot has a few new kind of affordable uh, budget knives, G10 budget knives with this. Uh, Beyond EDC has released a knife last year, a Dirk Pinkerton design that had this integrated button lock. But the way they're doing it is very interesting, because it is an integrated button lock, button actuated liner lock. Does that make sense? So the pivot is the button. Um... But it actuates kind of a liner lock. It's very interesting. It's very different than the way other folks have been doing it. I love it. I personally love it. It kind of, I don't know. It just streamlines the whole thing. And it's interesting and it's fun and I approve, right? Um, so Ergo's in hand. Like I said, pretty thick. Choke back. Thumb on that jimping. Yeah, it feels fine. Feels good. Locked in. No hot spots. No pinch points. Clip just disappears in the hand. Uh, really good jimping. Uh, good length on the jimping. So that feels nice in the hand. Big old finger choil. Choke up. That feels like home. I'm locked and loaded. Feel good. I feel right. Feel right at home right there. Pinch grip? Oh, yeah. You bet your ass. Fingers in the hole. Uh, <laughs> ring finger in that choil. Finger way out here on the blade. Oh, yeah. That is nice. 
and I like it very, very much. Feels like home. All day. All day pinch grip. Who would have guessed it? Very nice. So now that action with this crazy, funky, integrated button lock, liner lock thing. Yeah, it's excellent. So detent, great. Great. Uh, back flipper, nice. Dude, the noise. Front flipper, a little soft on the front flipper, but it works. It works just fine. Can I get a reach around? Sure can. Sure can get a reach around going. Okay. Uh, thumb flick. Yeah. So thumb flick, reverse flick feel the best. Back flipper works amazing, even though it's this dinky, tiny little minimal flipper tab. Pops right open. No issues. Um, the front flipper is the softest of the four options, but they they all still work really, really well. Acoustics. Uh, ceramic bearings, by the way. Acoustics. Zip. It's got that zipper sound. I love that sound. Oh, it's a noisy guy. The aluminum scales are, are also helping with the acoustics. Very nice. I like the finish. This hard anno. Got good grip to it on that aluminum scale. I approve. Uh, yeah, dude. I just love seeing new interesting lock mechanisms. I love to see, especially in the past two years, it seems we've seen a lot of evolution in locking mechanisms. I think, I think copyrights have kind of expired, patents have kind of expired, and people are just going crazy with all these different kind of iterations of compression locks and access locks and all kinds of shit. So I'm, I'm loving to see all this, all this change in the industry lately. It's been awesome to be part of. But yeah, um, no button stick at all. Lockup is solid, solid. And this is a prototype. Lockup solid as a rock. LMAX on the blade, by the way. Sign me up. Would I like to see a hollow grind on this? You bet your ass. I always do. This blade's just asking for a hollow grind. But, you know, I really don't care. This is excellent. Excellent fidgety goodness. I'm so here for it. Future me, how much are these going to be? I know they have a Kickstarter going right now. Um, pricing on this guy. I like it. I like this. I like the aluminum adds another level of, of kind of just satisfaction the g10 one was really really good the prototype at blade Joe, texas but the aluminum man it's got that extra weight it just has a more premium feel to it i didn't realize the blade steel is going to be l max i'm so here for it i like this shade of blue a lot yeah dude the a a ankylo i think on on the blade Joe, texas videos i kept calling it the anklio that's not right it's the ankylo which is kind of more ex uh, confusing to me personally but i love this I love this. I'm pumped to have it. I do want to cut something. LMAX on that blade. Nice tall flat grind. Ah, uh, the AARP bulletin. <laughs> Fun fact. You don't have to be old to sign up for AARP. It's like $12 for a decade. One time payment. It's not a decade. I think it's like $12 for five years for me and my wife. Dude, I get discounts all over the place. The movie theater. Freaking uh, uh, Lens Crafters. The Eye Doctor. I get the AARP discount. At Lens Crafters. Sunglass Hut? Guess what? ARP discount. $12 for five years. Sign up. You don't have to be old. A little pro tip from Tri-State. You're welcome. Uh, let's see if the ARP catalog will cut. Oh, yeah. She'll cut. This is two layers. Well, I've never cut this paper before, so... Oh! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful factory edge. In LMAX. Beautiful. Lovely. Ooh, ooh, uh, ah, eh, ah. I'm scared. I don't want to cut myself. I have a lot of work to do today. I don't want to bleed everywhere. Yeah, it does. I'm just... Oh, yeah, it does. Oh. Yeah. A plus. A plus. Sorry, I didn't make that look very pretty. But I promise it is scary sharp. Uh, yeah, I approve, dude. The Ankylo. Been pumped about this one. I've been dying to check it out. Get a full review out on the channel. I am so here for this. I love the integrated button pivot lock system and especially this kind of having that liner lock functionality so it's a much more secure lockup shouldn't have any spine whack issues even though you shouldn't be spine whacking your knives you heathens a plus ankylo fosty links down below future me you got a lot of work to do because i don't know pricing i don't know release dates i really don't know anything all i know is it's excellent and you should keep an eye out so links down below like the video comment let me know what you think subscribe to the channel become a channel member patreon member hit me up on instagram tiktok and threads but that is it i'll see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching Bye-bye.